I'll probably ask you on camera so you should take one. Just kidding. Do you want to have one? Your favorite genre? Uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you wrote informational text. Yeah. Would you say informational text is what you prefer to read? Um, no. I like, I like fiction better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, just sci-fi, fantasy, mm -hmm. historical fiction. Do you want to do a favor, just dip your chin a little bit and speak a couple times? One, two, three. Nice. Sound up. He's acing math, too. I'll tell you, we get the teacher off. And So why don't you just start by, like, a quick introduction. Maybe name, age, where you're from. My name is Jeremiah. I'm 13. I'm from Greensboro in the seventh grade. Nice. So, why don't you tell me a little bit about the book that you wrote? Maybe why? Uh, what was the topic, and why did you pick it? Well, climate change. It was something that I hadn't really learned about yet, and I, and I just thought it was a good opportunity to learn about it and write about it. When uh, when we read information, a lot of times we read informational text, and it confirms what we already knew, and sometimes it changes our mind of what we knew. Any spots where you like totally changed your mind? Um, well, it's like how much affected everything. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, I didn't think about how a lot of things could be related back to climate change, uh, causing things. Do you feel like your work in this project uh, will change your behavior as an adult? Probably, yeah. How so? Probably be thinking, I'll probably be a lot more conscious about what I'm doing. Tell me about the, the writing process. Like, tell me what you, how did you get the information? What did you use? How did you get started? How did you? Well, I started by just reading the books in the classroom, and then I just searched all over the internet. And I did a lot of, a lot of planning, but I sort of some this regarded some of that when I started writing. Just went through. So there was research that you had that you did not use? Yeah. Tell me one of the questions writers always have, like when they're kids, ah, I don't, why do I have to revise? Why do I have to rewrite it? How many times did you rewrite it? A lot. <laughs> How many? I'm just ballparking now. Maybe like 10 times. Wow. Yeah. So why do you think, and this might be another great example to start the use of the words for the question and the response, why do you think you had to rewrite the text so many times? I think I had to rewrite it because I just wanted to be the best it could be. And I sort of started, it was okay. And this kept making it better. Talk to me about the artwork. Because it artwork. was very different from just drawing with a pencil. Tell me yeah. what inspired you. How'd you think about it? Well, I was thinking about drawing, but then I saw a stack of National Geographic books and I sort of went to work with it. It was really cool. It was, it was really, really Thank cool you. work. A lot of our graphic designers are very jealous of your skills. So, do you have any other books in the works that you're thinking about writing next? Um, no. It's just doing, what, <laughs> doing the assignment. One hit one. <laughs> Tell me about uh, what do you like to read? I like um I like to read I like to read sci fi a lot. Do you have any favorite books or favorite authors that you can Um read? favorite authors, not sci fi, I like Doctor Seuss. Okay. Yeah. Why do you think you like Doctor Seuss so much? His language that he uses. Um I sort of like how he can be imaginative. Well, it's, it's similar, you know, you two have similar artistic eyes, you know, he draws things that aren't of this world and you kind of created images that weren't the typical of this whole expectation. So tell me about your future. What does the future hold for Jeremiah? A lot. Yeah? <laughs> Let's hear it. Give me a list. Um, well, I could be an artist. I, I could write. I don't know now, but actually you know something's going to happen. What are you thinking about, like, uh, high school or college? I want to go to Weaver. The, uh, it's an um, arts college, an yeah, arts high school in Greensboro. That's awesome. So what would you say is your, like, ultimate goal in life? Um, mm, my ultimate goal in life. You know, it's a hefty question to ask yeah. someone in the seventh grade, but now it's going to be documented. To make an impact. Super cool. Well, and I can promise you that with the work that you're doing, you will be making an impact in several people's lives when they read that book. Uh, any other lasting pieces of advice that you would share with expiring authors out there? You start writing. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got it. <laughs>
do you just want to go ahead and tell them your address so we can send? Uh, <laughs> you're know, applying for a job at American Reading Company. No, it's okay. <laughs> really wonderful. Thank you so much. Look, everyone around here is just super impressed by by your work, and I think that there's amazing things in your future. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, that's our boy right there. Yeah.